Hey my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Now usually I don't do videos like this, but I was very disturbed after hearing a story from a young lady. Her name is Maya, shout out to her, a super sweet girl. And she was scammed by the influencer Janie. Now if you guys don't know who Janie is, for the people who are gonna say, I don't know who she is in the comment section, Janie was a former member of the group Sarati. And you know, she decided to leave the group a couple of years ago and these sisters have been separated for a while now and she's been doing her own thing but unfortunately doing her own thing is scamming as well now Janie has been called out on multiple occasions numerous times for scamming people out of their money what she will do she will post on social media that she is selling a wig for the low and once somebody decides to dm her about the wig trying to buy it she will tell them send the money through cash up once that person sends the money she will no longer respond or she will give a bogus excuse to why she has not sent the wig and she will just keep on prolonging the process i guess she will try to get the customer so tired out to where you know they forget that they even sent her the money but who does that now i feel like this is super super messed up like i said i heard this story from maya and i wanted to know more about what happened same thing happened to her she got scammed out of her money with janie saying that she was going to send her a wig now i will have all of these messages between janie and maya at the end of this video but i want to go ahead and get into a little bit of it now maya decides to swipe up on janie's story because janie is basically saying look if you guys are interested in this wig dm me so that's what maya decides to do now janie decides to reply and she says hey love Thanks for your interest. Can you send a payment? And then she gives her cash app through cash app. One cent, send your screenshot of the payment and your correct shipping info, your first and last name. Please and thank you. However, if you change your mind, please let me know so I can let the next person okay, have now, it. Now, this is how scammers work. They literally, literally are always going to put a little catch in there at the end talking about, oh, I might have to let this next person have it or I got 10 people coming at me for the same thing because they want you to be anxious to give them the money. They want you to send the money quickly and they want to make you feel like somebody else is going to take what you want. So they will tell you that somebody else is interested or that there's another person in line but in actuality most likely they're lying and there's not even anybody else in line they just want you to hurry up and be anxious to send the money so the young lady of course she sends the money and she sends her address and everything over to janie so janie responds and she says perfect i just got it i'll have it sent out tomorrow morning plus the tracking the young lady says sounds good she hits her up the next day because janie said that she was going to send her the tracking in the morning but she doesn't do it so it's the afternoon she's hitting janie up like hey good afternoon did you enter the tracking number or the information she said you're going to send the tracking information because like janie said she was going to send the tracking information out in the morning now janie seems like she has an attitude at this point and she's like i just got up and my day just started it's 1 33 p.m when i send it off you'll have the tracking number now i'm like hold on how do you go from telling somebody that you are going to send them the tracking number in the morning but then you get an attitude when they're hitting you up in the afternoon because you didn't keep your promise. And they're asking you what happened. Like, I thought you said that you were going to send the tracking in the morning. Why do you have the attitude? If anything, she should have had the attitude because you are not keeping her word and she just sent you $160. Now, the young lady, of course, catches on to Janie's attitude and she's like, look, don't worry about it. Just send me my money back. Janie decides to not respond, of course. And the young lady is like, yo, you're a bogus. I'm a single mother as well. And this would kind of hurt me and make me want to speak out about the situation because this young lady is a single mother, just like Janie is a single mother. And even if Janie isn't a single mother, because we know that she goes back and forth with her baby daddy, even if she's not a single mother, she's a mother. To be scamming another mother, not even have the heart to say, look, this is another mother. Let me send her her money back is completely heartless to me and that's why i wanted to speak on this situation people can call it messy if they want to if doing the right thing and standing up for innocent people who are getting scammed by these celebrities and influencers is being messy well so be it 
anyway now she goes on to tell janie like why would you have to scam me out of 160 dollars like i said she said that i'm a single mother as well you're supposed to be an influencer you have money and she told her look i supported you that's why i wanted to buy this wig from you because i supported you while you were in sorority and i even supported you while you were out of sorority if you would scam one of your supporters you would scam all of them i'm not about to be a supporter of yours if you don't have the heart for your supporters and anybody who wants to support janie i'm not saying that you have to stop supporting her that is your choice but i'm choosing not to support her because i wouldn't want to support somebody who would easily scam any of their supporters so yeah it's a no for me now the young lady decided to request a refund of course janie is not trying to send her her money back which lets it be known that janie just decided to scam her and take her money she decides to complain about oh it's raining where i'm at i haven't gotten out it's dangerous to drive in the rain which is understandable right but you communicated with that person that you made a promise to you promised this customer that you were going to send her tracking number out and if you cannot get out of your house and drive to the postal office because it's raining you should have communicated that with her previous to her having to hit you up and ask you what's going on with the tracking number but like i said obviously janie was just scamming once again she's been known for it i mean there's a whole tiktok search for janie wig scamming so what do we really expect from her i will have these messages between maya and janie at the end of this video if you guys want to read them but in the meantime my lovely tts let's support our girl maya I will have her cash app right here on the screen if we all can just send what we can. That would help our girl out. Like I said, she did get scammed by Janie, unfortunately. Anyways, y'all let me know how y'all feel about that situation in the comment section. Let's go ahead and move on to DDG. Now, DDG recently dropped a new song and it's called Way to Petty. Now, while he was talking about a lot in this song, I believe, this is just my thoughts and opinions, that he had a part in there where he was talking about the situation that happened with ruby rose if you guys have not heard that i will have the link below other than that ddg feels like he's being slept on by the industry and a lot of people only because he was a youtuber first and he had put his family on this is what he posted he said ms tried to downplay me for doing youtube putting my family on making millions like i won't slap one of you dudes for real on top of that pull the same female that you thirsting over in the dms the internet got me messed up for real ennis ain't making it on forbes list every day that's what ddg had to say look if you're a ddg fan go ahead and support him now it seems like a lot of people grew upset at ddg after the whole situation that just happened between ruby rose and ddg and it included hallie as well i mean recently some pictures came out of these two at an event and fans decided to completely cover ddg's face yes this picture is going all around on twitter ddg just made a joke out of the situation it doesn't really look like he's paying it any mind let's go ahead and move into our last topic which is going to be our girl tommy now in my previous video i'll let you guys know what tommy said about not only chris brown but chris brown's son as well well tommy did actually issue out an apology at a conference it seems like a lot of her fans accepted her apology now as for her instagram page a lot of people felt like tommy deactivated her instagram page after she said what she said on instagram live they just thought that she was embarrassed or she didn't want any type of backlash actually people decided to report her instagram and that's how her page got taken i guess she made another instagram account and this is what she said she said oh please i wish i would let y'all run me off the internet yeah right the dislikers did what they do and got my ish took and then she said i love when the whole world against me it actually makes me feel closer to god like i said tommy is definitely something else but like i said she did issue out an apology so not only reporting the negative the positive too because i've seen a lot of people who talking about that in my last video but anyways you guys let me know how you feel about all of these topics my lovely tts once again thank you so much for watching room for tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload follow me on instagram at room for tea with two a's at the end and like i always say i'll see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night